think of anybody who probably deserves it more. I mean, Newmarket caters for 2,500 horses. And John Taylor, in charge of the Gallops, has catered for those 2,500 horses to provide the best turf and the best all-weather gallops in the world. John is something of a legend on the Heath, um, having worked here for 42 years before he retired uh, from the Heath last November. He's still working for us, helping us out up on the National Stud. You know, without him, certainly speaking for myself, we wouldn't have been able to have had as much success as we had. And, you know, the gallops here are probably the best in the world for a for a public training centre and, and John looked after them immaculately. Looking after the Heath has many pressures, but John believes success starts from the ground up. We've managed to turn the turf around here to get some of the finest turf in the world, I would say. Probably because of man management, being able to, to maintain it and, and do it in such a way. And um, I feel highly honoured to be able to be involved in that. However, the great British weather can undo the work of even the greatest groundsman. So John has pioneered the use of artificial tracks, cultivating his position as a leading world expert. The grass most of the time was virtually unusable. So the, the artificial tracks kept everything going. And as, you, as everybody knows, the artificial now is what's literally taken over for training. I believe he's going to America and is going to be involved with the Breeders' Cup this year. So it's a testament to him that he's done so well here that people want to use his experience everywhere around the world. The heat has to be managed for the good of all, and John has never been afraid to enforce his decisions on fairness and safety, regardless of whom he's dealing with. In the end, they know that John makes the right decision for the grass, for the heath, uh, which in, in turn is the right decision for everybody.